y'all is that that's the right angle i'm i gotta hurry up and clean up it's already 2 30 and my appointment is at what time is my appointment it's at four i woke up at one and i've just been on the phone ever since because they've been calls back to back why would i be sleeping like that hold on y'all i'm trying to get you at a fixed point is that working but yeah girl it just has been crazy like this morning has been crazy i've been slacking i'm sorry i hope y'all can see me i've been slacking on reading my word and i think that's just really affecting me because i'm less disciplined less discipline and everything whenever i'm not in my words so yeah that's a key component to life like i've been doing more and staying on top of stuff more because i've made it a goal like i've been very intentional about setting these goals and just like things each day that need to happen but realistically child the most important thing has been happening, so we need to... It's just the end of the week. And you know, at the end of the week, you realize how much you didn't accomplish during the week. And you just be like, bro, what gives? You know, what gives? What's the problem? What do we need to do differently in order to not feel like a complete failure same time next week? And I think, honestly, the answer to that question is going to be eating, okay? Getting my word. Because, like I said, that's the most important part. Like, I could do all these things. Um, but it's something about being happy. Oh, my baby. 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 Actually gonna do something today. Saturday, I think I told y'all I had work and I was uh, about to do stuff, and I just ended up not doing anything. It was a very, very much a lazy day, but I did work. I don't know, y'all. I don't know what's going on with me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to say I'm in a funk because I don't feel like I am, but I feel like the more. I feel like I'm, like, going down a rabbit hole. Like, the more I don't do stuff, the more I don't want to do stuff. So, it's a vicious cycle. I keep, I've been saying that a lot lately. <laughs> it's a vicious cycle. But, um, I'm about to get some breakfast. I literally ran out the house this morning. I'm not going to lie to y'all, like. I need to do so much better. I don't know. I'm not in a very good place right now. Um last night i had a very hard cry um thinking about my boyfriend that passed away when i was 17 i watched one of the native videos about her boyfriend that just passed away and i never watched those videos i just always skip them i'm just like well i know he passed away so what more do i really need to know you know <clears throat> but i think it was a trigger because last night i cried my heart out like I very much love God, very much believe in God, and know that he has healed me from a lot of things. Um, and when this came up last night, I had so many, like, you thank you. Okay. In my experience, I have had to give God, like, access to me in certain ways in order for him to deal with me in certain ways. So, when this came up last night, I was just like... I just got so angry. I just got so angry. And I'm like, yeah, that's the problem. Because who are you mad at? It's like, I... After that happened, I just, like... Try to avoid it at all costs. To this day, I don't look at none of our pictures, videos. Nothing. I don't read our messages i don't reminisce i don't look at none of his stuff I, like i packed up all his stuff that i had 
um, and put it away. And, like, some of the stuff got lost, and I was, like, very upset about that because why would you touch my stuff? But I try to, like... Stay away from those thoughts as much as I can. Um, and yeah, I just lock it out. Like I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna see about therapy. I think my health insurance should be ready to go this week, so that should about cover it. Uh. So I've been struggling with my um. Like, we're just being disciplined in, like, my faith. Not my faith. But, like, my pursuit. Yes, yeah, being disciplined in my pursuit of God. And I just read the verse of the day because I'm, like, I do this thing where it's, like, um, well, you didn't get up early, so, like, that's nothing. Like, it's nothing to read a scripture. It's nothing to say a little prayer real quick, like. Not like it's nothing to do it, just get it out the way. But, like, that's not nothing. You should have did what you were supposed to do because you're not about to really get no strength or no power or no touch from God with a little quick prayer, with a little quick read. Um, But this time I was just like, and I, I've done this before, but I was just like, you know what? Something's better than nothing. Like, I at least need to read a scripture. I at least need to get some type of word in me. So I went on the Bible app and read the verse of the day, boy. The word I was looking for earlier was discouraged. Like, not, um, my bad. Uh, what I was talking about, like, being in this, like, weird place, like, I have been so discouraged. And not about, like, God or my future or anything. I am so hopeful and expectant about my future. But when you get in a place of, like, not being a failure but just like not showing up for yourself on a regular basis like or like so much over time you just start to be like okay well what, what even is the point you know like I'm gonna keep trying to keep failing like basically like I keep trying to get my legs together and then to just not have it together it's very frustrating and it's just discouraging because it's like is this life like <laughs> is this how it's gonna always be um but the scripture that i just read is isaiah 42 i think i don't know if that's wrong or not but it just basically says don't be afraid for i am with you don't be discouraged for i am your god i will strengthen you and help you i will hold you up with my victorious hand but other translation, the King James Version said, I, I will hold you up with my right hand of righteousness or something like that. But it said righteousness. That really touched my freaking heart because I'm just like, man, that's my struggle. It's like getting it right. Like, I just cannot. Like, I just cannot. And I like, I know, I know I'm supposed to lean on God. I know I'm supposed to depend on God because without him, I'm not able to do anything. But like, that sweet little like that's just sweet reminder like god is not upset with me he's not angry with me he's not frustrated with me he wants me to do better like he wants me to just have confidence in him and be at peace knowing that he is my god who will strengthen me like i don't have to be discouraged i don't have to give up i don't have to be upset about the outcomes that i've had just keep going be consistent keep going keep trying because i will strengthen you my righteousness is what uphold you not yours not you getting it right not you trying so it don't matter if you fail or not it don't matter if you get it right or not as long as you continue in faithfulness to god he's already made you right he's already got it right for you <laughs> Your job, your only job is to continue. Your only job is to continue to endure, and you can only do that by trusting Him. So that's our encouragement for today. I feel so. I feel like I just got a hug from my dad, like a little hug, little pat on the head. Like it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Um, but I ate my food. I did not touch my coffee yet. I'm going to run in the house to get ready. Pack my bag up and go to the library because I'm not going to get nothing done in the house. I might clean up before I leave, but 
If I don't, I don't. Not even joke. Because last time I was like, ah, oh, and the camera like, ah, oh, cuz. Sorry, that's so disrespectful. This is a little bit after 12. I got everything ready to go. I'm going to my friend's house instead. <laughs> because she, mm, it's a whole situation. It's not a situation. She just loved me. I love her. So I'm about to go to her house, period. I don't need a reason why. But I did um, start downloading the next video so that I can start editing it. I need to edit the last video. That one is taking some time. I really feel like I just shouldn't even upload it because of the amount of time it's taking. But then I'm like, you can't do that every time. You can't keep doing that. But I'm like, I can because I got a lot of content. But then I'm like, no. Do what you don't want to do first. Remember what we were talking about? Yeah, so. I'm going to finish it today, though. And it should be scheduled for tomorrow. My arm gets tired. It should be scheduled for tomorrow. Um... And I think that's really it. So that's gonna be an epic go. But I don't know what we're about to do over there, so I don't know how much I'm gonna get done over there. Um, but yeah. Is this better? I'm trying to see though, why do I keep being all up in the camera? I could get closer now, right? Because it's further away. Like, I don't even know how to feel with this. Like, is it. This is weird. Let me know in the comments. If y'all be watching, don't be saying that. Like, I want to talk to you. Talk to me. Talk to me. What do you think about this angle? I feel like it's a nice distance, nice amount of room. I just had to clean it up to make it look better. But yeah. The fact that I did not record the whole time is crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. But the fact that I didn't record the whole time is crazy. But yes, it is after. Hmm. Why does snow come down like that? It just started coming down like that. If I just I left from my friend's house, I'm on my way to. Well, right now I'm in a drive through about to get some food because first things first, I need to eat. And I just ate a whole big breakfast at one, and it's only four. So here we are. I'm about to um get this food, and then I'm going to get pulled because, like I just said, it's almost five. Um, and we're gonna go home and enjoy a nice, calm evening. I miss my baby. I would say I don't know why, but like, I always miss her. I just never, I don't pay no attention because you know I'm a mother. I'm a mother, so I'm gonna miss my child regardless. But yeah, I'm just ready to get her and give her a hug. I'm so excited. I, why do I be this happy? Like, I be geeked about my kid. Look at me, all. Look at me, my uh, she gonna say I look like I got a wig on. I do like I got a wig on though. And I need y'all to see it. I need this part to bust a little bit harder too. So I don't know, I might work on that. Because it don't like, if you, if I'm not in the right type of light or like looking at this at the right angle, like if I'm gonna my, showing you, you really don't see my part. I don't like that. Cause I need my part to be seen. So it look like clean, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, yes, all I gotta say was today was a good day. I see y'all tomorrow because I don't think I'm gonna record tonight. I just wanna like have some peace of mind for a minute. So, yeah, that's all for today. I'll see y'all in the morning.